Hey, Lily, this is Javita Delayed, and I heard there's going to be a scarf tax. A scarf tax? I can't deal with a scarf tax. You know, the president wants to tax everything, and now he wants to tax my scarves? <laughs> you know, I heard about a scarf tax, and I was a little confused when I heard this. Does this mean just the vinyl scarves or the really nice scarves, the cashmere scarves? Uh, and then a friend of mine called me up and said, No, Javita, it's not scarf tax. It's scarf tax. What do you mean? Well, that my friend of mine uh, loves the smorgasbord, and every day he goes out for the smorgasbord, he eats really fast. He scarfs it down. And he says he's worried because he's going to get scarf tax because he scarfs it down. <laughs> I said, good, rather you get scarfed than me. <laughs>you're having a beautiful evening on a saturday night wow uh and thank you for tuning in it's our one-year anniversary tomorrow <laughs> i forgot what day of the weekend tomorrow our one-year anniversary tomorrow april 25th so thank you for joining us on la late night our reverend humor only broadcast humor only so if you're looking for information when you get to or if you're going to get your fourth stimulus check, no, I won't have that in this broadcast. Uh, when you're going to get your third stimulus check, no. When you're going to get your when you're going to get taxed to your blue in the face of the fifth stimulus package, yeah, I might cover that in this broadcast. But coming up is the illustrious, wonderful uh, guy and a, a cow who got stimulus before all the rest of us, the cow negotiator himself, the cow lobbyist, the man of the hour. Let's welcome the illustrious Sir Lauren. How are you? <coughs> <laughs> oh, I'm wonderful, Elder. I am so good. I was a little bit late coming uh, to the studio tonight, so I really appreciate it. Why were you late? It's Saturday. There's no traffic. I was uh, dodging all the tax news. <laughs> You're dodging all the tax. Yes, I was on the f I was on the highway with the truck, with the tow truck and the tow hitch, and suddenly I was on the tow hitch with the tow truck, and all I heard was tax this and tax that from President Biden, and I just couldn't get here through all the traffic and the noise. <laughs> yes, there we are. I'll be covering all the presents proposed taxes in this recording uh oh you will yes and and, uh, and certainly what you expect me to cover her outfits teal yes we will be covering the press secretary and her teal so uh, what are you what are you excited about for the weekend are you going to the casino i may i may are you gonna wear teal <laughs> i will not i will not wear teal teal um so you know the good thing about the pr about the weekends you know what the greatest thing about the weekends uh, sirloin what is what is the best thing about the weekends relaxing staying at home with the families no, it's not having to see her wear more teal. <laughs> You're referring to a certain person? Yes, that's her. <laughs> that's the culprit right there. That is the culprit. That is the culprit. And that's also the culprit. <laughs> and that is also, oh my goodness, Ellie, this needs to stop. The atrocity. She's just draining the world of all the teal. You know, they're talking about using up all the uh, the electrical energy in the world. She's using up all the teal. <laughs> There's not enough turbines to create more teal in the universe. <laughs> yes, the universe only has a certain amount of teal, and she is commandeering all she's monopolizing all the teal. Break her up like like uh monopoly. <laughs> So what do you expect uh, next week with the uh, color color options coming from the press secretary? Do you think the press secretary is going to only wear teal, muddle blue, and blue next week? Do you think it's going to be another one of those weeks? Oh, uh, of course it is. <laughs> oh my goodness, LLA. What is this? So this is a... Um, a new publicity video. Publicity for what? Teal? <laughs> no, publicity for the president. I just, I, I, you know, I, I get turned off. I, I get, I get, well, whatever. What is it? <laughs> what is this about? It's a new publicity video from the White House, and um, it wants to tell you about the infrastructure bill. The one that has no bill? Yes, the one that has no bill. Why are we doing video after video when there is no bill? Just write the darn bill already. <laughs> But Ellie, like, look, the the she's teal, the the lamp is teal. By tomorrow, the Hewlett Packer will be teal. The drapes will be teal. The 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 uh, I mean, she'll probably dye her hair teal. 
<laughs> you know, do you think there'll be an allotment of money for Teal under the Force Stimulus package? Of course there will. 1.5 billion for just Teal. <laughs> How much for Muddle Blue? One point two billion for Muddle Blue. Do you think the Republicans will give money for Teal? No, absolutely not. That's why it's bi not going to go bipartisan. There's too much money in there for Teal. <laughs> the fourth stimulus package is just a Teal bill. It's all Teal, and the fifth stimulus be more Teal, a little bit more Muddle Blue as well. <laughs> you know, the, uh, looking back at this week, I really don't understand why there was so much grass on the White House. I don't understand it either. Can we see that video? Oh my goodness, Ali. It's attack of the giant grass plant in the in the climate event. <laughs> I'm not looking for climate. I'm not looking for the present. I'm looking at the grass. <laughs> There's just I, I I agree with you. It's just you, where is the president in the video? <laughs> Who is the cameraman for this, Ellie? The cameraman has focused dead center the grass. Is the president in this video? Oh, maybe in the corner. Maybe he's halfway out the door in this video. <laughs> yeah, if you do like the president's, the president's almost out of frame in this video. You could barely see the edge. You could barely see Mr. Kerry, Secretary Kerry, but I do see the grass. <laughs> I think they all get devoured by the grass. <laughs> Ellie, who does the? decorations for the White House. Is it her? <laughs> I think it's her. I think she's behind all this grass. Blue and more blue and then uh, and then more blue. <laughs> I think, yes, it, it has, has to be her. It has to be her. Who would put so much grass in a set? And then, yes, it just, it doesn't, oh my goodness, more grass on the mantle, grass in the, in the foreground. Elliot, is, is this all that the White House has? Do they have any colors? Do you have any other videos, Elliot? Oh my goodness, there it is again. <laughs> I think it's a little bit out of frame. Let me see if I can move it in frame so you can see, uh, so you can see this plant. Uh, yeah, there's some more. <laughs> there it is, it's in the foreground. There's some more grass. <laughs> can we go back a little bit more into the shot? Uh, there it is, oh, there it is. <laughs> I, do, I don't, I, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't, I just, what is with this White House? Blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. Does nothing grow under, in, the, in, the, in the Biden administration? <laughs> and there it is, more green, more green, more green and more blue. <laughs> I just, just, I don't extend, I don't understand this, LA. <laughs> And here I am wearing green tonight. I did not anticipate this. Uh, your excuse, LA, you wear all the colors. You wear pink, you wear yellow. But this, this Biden administration, they, can they not grow other colors in the White House during this time of the Biden administration? <laughs> I, just, I, I don't understand. It's just, it's always, it, it, I, I, I agree with you, Ella. This president has a problem with flowers. <laughs> there is never any yellow. There is never any pink. There is never any soft uh, uh, vino rosa. <laughs> There's never any Pinot Grigio colors. It's always hard green and hard blue. I don't, he's a union guy. <laughs> he's a union guy. <laughs> Do union guys not like pink? <laughs> I don't know. Did he come in and say, mm, this is the Biden administration. We will not have pink. We will not have yellow. We will not have red. We will not have light uh, Pinot Grigio. We will only have green and muddle blue. <laughs> and if you don't like it, vote me out in the midterms. <laughs> I don't know. It just, you know. I don't know. It just, yeah. And, and, but then the, the cameraman, I don't, I, I don't understand that cameraman. I really don't. I don't. That climate event this week, the cameraman forgot that we had a president. <laughs> It did. The cameraman's like, oh, let's have an, a conference about grass. <laughs> Is there a president in attendance? Who knows? But we will have a conference about some grass. <laughs> Is is this is Secretary uh, Kerry attending? I don't know. Really doesn't matter. But let's focus on some grass. <laughs> I mean <laughs> the, the Oh, Elliot, why is the cameraman not focused on the president? The president's like practically in New Jersey. <laughs> He's like in their jersey. He's off to Maryland. They want to make DC a state. Well, first focus on where the president is in this video before we make DC a state. I just the grass is just growing, and it's uh, you know, and then there's grass up there. <laughs> Even the plaque of Kennedy has problems with this set. <laughs> 
I just Sarah Lloyd, it just, you know, I, it's, 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 you know, uh, and look at the woman behind her. She's staring, saying, again, another muddle blue day, another teal day. Uh, the, the, and, and what are all these papers she's carrying? Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> what is she carrying? Uh, and, and, and then, and then, of course, yes, of course, the, she has to have an office where the lamp matches her. <laughs> It's just one of those days. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm really speechless. I just don't, uh, some things just don't explain themselves. They, they don't. Uh, you know, you come in your, your first 100 days in office, and what are you going to, where is the progress as a president with your 100 days in office if all you're showing the American people is teal day after day? <laughs> Yes, la la. Not a lot of uh, floral progress. There's not a lot of floral progress. All I'm seeing is grass from this administration. It's the first 100 days, all I've seen is grass. Grass this day, grass that next day. I don't see a lot of progress yet in, the, uh, in terms of floral decoration from this White House. <laughs> and then how about the press secretary? Not a lot of progress. Uh, you know, that one day there was red. I think it was a mistake. I think Putin invaded uh, the wardrobe that day. <laughs> But other than that, I, I always see is muddle blue, teal, day in, day out. And uh, I, I hope for the next 100 days that we do expand another range of options of the color wheel. <laughs> the color wheel. The color wheel is just saying, you know, we have four years to do of this. There's a lot more colors. Are we just sort of going to do teal every single day for four years? I hope not, Ally. <laughs> What are you going to do? I may have to get those special goggles you wear where you just see things in different colors. I can't look at all the steel. You can't look at all the steel. I need those goggles. I think Janet Yellen's going to wear those goggles. She's going to, you know, slide them in through that hair and say, you know, the economy's rebounding, but not so much the color wheel. <laughs> Do, 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 do we need to stimulate the color wheel? We need to stimulate the color wheel. The color wheel of this administration is too much blue. It's just too much blue. I know Democrats and Republicans and Republicans and Democrats, but this, oh my goodness, Ally. And then that, oh Lord, Ally. I, it's just, you know, and then that, oh, yeah, wait, wait a second. Is that the same thing as the day before? Can we compare that versus this? Is that the same? <laughs> Ally, it, did she just like, Cut off the sleeves one day. <laughs> she got says and cut off the sleeves. It looks like the same day as, as this one, and then it's, and the, it, it, it's the same thing, Ally. It's the same thing, and even the lamp is trying to run from the room. <laughs> the lamp is trying to run from the room. The lamp wants to hide under the grass. <laughs> the lamp wants to hide under the grass. The lamp is like, where's that grass? I'm gonna run for it. When what? No one's focusing on me. I will run for it. <laughs> So do you think the climate conference was successful this week? I have no idea. I have no idea what was about that climate conference. <laughs> so what do you think is going to be the future of climate? He's going to tax it. <laughs> He's going to tax the climate. Of course. You go outside. You breathe. He taxes it. <laughs> you open. You, you, try to, uh, you try to get a nice whiff of the wonderful air outside. He's going to tax it. You look, you look up into the sky and you know say, oh, what a beautiful day it is. He's going to tax it. He's gonna, he loves the climate and he loves taxes, so he's going to tax the climate until it's blue in the face. <laughs> the, the beautiful sky, the, 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 the sun, the, the yellow sun with the smiley face. He's going to be blue. He's going to be taxed until he can no, no longer smile. <laughs> I hope not. You know, it's. It, did you hear what's happening on Wednesday? I did. I've been watching your videos. Very informative. Very informative. Except when you lose audio. How dare you? <laughs> it was not my fault, sir. Light. I did not accidentally. You know, you just when you lose audio. Uh, I. You know. I. You know what I do? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. I mow the lawn while listening to you, while watching you with no audio. So. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just, you know, sorry about losing audio. But did you hear what's happening this coming Wednesday? I did, I did hear, Ellie. I did hear. He's going to announce more taxes for this fall. More taxes in September. And I, I, I'm just speechless, Ellie. What, what do you think about it? I'm just still trying to figure out which taxes are this week. <laughs> Ellie, you know, we're, we're hearing about taxes this week, and then he's telling us about taxes in September. Can you please first let us digest our our uh, meatless taco 
as we try to devour the news of today's taxes, and then you're telling us about September's taxes? I mean, you know, I'm getting heartburn, and I don't even eat meatless tacos. <laughs> I just, yeah, it just, it just, it's just a lot of taxes. It's a lot of taxes. So I, I think for stimulus will be um, corporate taxes, and then fifth stimulus will be capital gains taxes, and then I guess sixth stimulus will be any other taxes you can find. <laughs> of course, it doesn't. He's just gonna, Janet, you find another taxes? Can you look in the cupboard? Is another taxes I haven't touched? Janet, there must be another taxes I haven't touched yet. Come on, come on, there must be another tax I can, it's 2022, there must be one more tax I have not touched yet. <laughs> What do you think Ted Cruz is saying? Ted Cruz is like, when am I getting ready for my presidential run? Give him another tax and I'm ready to run for it. <laughs> it's just, uh... <laughs> do you think he's going to tax the color wheel? Of course he is. <laughs> of course he's going to tax the color wheel. He's going to tax teal. He's going to tax grass. He's going to tax blue. He's going to tax muddle blue. And he's going to tax any color he can tax until he can literally give every penny he can to 70-year-olds. <laughs> it's all his money to 70-year-olds. I don't know what's with him and 17-year-olds. I don't know when he became the president of 70-year-olds. <laughs> you know, <laughs> do 17-year-olds need all this money? They do. They need teal tennis shoes. <laughs> They need $24,000 so that they can go get some teal tennis shoes. And this is the president who will tax you to give them those teal tennis shoes. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> no one's supposed to. He's a union guy. <laughs> and he makes no qualms about it. Yes, <laughs> I got that as well. There is a new video of him out. Uh, where is that? I think it's this one. Yes. <laughs> It's, it's that video. Uh, no. Uh, what do you... I'm speechless. I, 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 I am speechless about the amount of taxes that we're all seeing. Uh, and it's... Can I see the... Can you take off the graphic? Uh, yeah, let me take off the graphic. There it is. I'm a union president. And I make no qualms about it. Yeah, but I, I think he's more than that. What else do you think he is besides a union president? He's a, I'm going to tax you to your blue in the face president and tell everyone to embrace grass. <laughs> He's a, I'm going to, I'm going to put the grass in the foreground president and you're going to love it. I'm going to put grass on the mantle. I'm going to put grass on the table and there'll be just grass everywhere and you're going to love it. And then I'm going to tax you to your muddle blue in the face. <laughs> Do you think we anticipated this? We did not. We did not, LA. You know, he was talking about taxes for corporate people and we thought, you know, 20% to 24%. Even us at the cows thought, you know, okay, just a few percent here. We never thought he's going to tax inheritance tax, capital gains tax, uh, a, um, the wealth tax, uh, the, the, the higher tax, the middle tax, the grass tax, the muddle blue tax. We never anticipated this. This is just, what is this becoming? This is becoming... Uh, <laughs> It's becoming, it's becoming a tax rama <laughs> It is becoming a tax rama You've heard about the voter rama You've heard about the Dalai Lama. This is the tax rama <laughs> It is the tax rama It is the tax rama Every day of the week, there's another tax, and I'm the guy to get you those taxes. <laughs> What do you think Joe Manchin's thinking? He's thinking, goodness, the whole weight of the world depends on me to save you from tax oblivion. Oh, I, you know, I, it was just me and the minimum wage. Now I got to deal with all this. <laughs> That's very right, true. Joe Manchin was sort of like the voice of reason for minimum wage. And now we are dependent on Joe Manchin not saving us from tax oblivion. And he is. He is. Joe Manchin now carries the weight of an entire country on him, on us, to save us from tax oblivion. And Joe Manchin, we love you. <laughs> Don't have us taxed to death. <laughs> So what is your message to uh, Joe Manchin to save us from too much taxes in the fourth and fifth stimulus package? 
Uh, what is your message to Joe Manchin? I air tag you, Joe Manchin. <laughs> I air tag. I air tag you, Joe Manchin. I will take you to Amazon Hair and give you a gift certificate. I will give you the best hair you've ever had, Joe Manchin, to save us from tax oblivion. We can't take all these taxes. Save us, Joe Manchin. Save us, Joe Manchin. I will get you a new iPhone. I will get you meatless toxo, tacos for a lifetime. I will even, well, I'll even, I'll, maybe I'll give you a, a lease deal on a, on a, there, on a Kowalak. <laughs> if you save us from a president who wants to tax us, to wear blue in the face. Joe Manson, you're our man. Save us from capital gains taxes, Joe Manson. Please save us. <laughs> I, I, for some reason, I don't think this is a humor moment. I, I, admit, I think this is a reality check. It is a reality check. Tax in the color wheel, maybe a laugh moment, but saving us from tax oblivion, it's a plea to the reality of the moment. Joe Manson, please watch. I know you're watching. Save us. <laughs> And Kristen Sinema, and Kristen Sinema, save us. I know you're watching. I know everyone watches. It's Saturday night. There's nothing else on. No one's watching Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live. They're not. They're watching me. <laughs> They're watching you. They're watching Sir Loin on LA. They're watching Sir Loin on LA. LA. They're not watching Elon Musk. He's a bore. <laughs> he is a bore. He told you to buy Doggy Kong, Doggy, what is it called? Donkey Kong or Doggy Coin, and now you've lost your shirt, and he's coasting Saturday Night Live. Is he doing it for free? No. <laughs> is he getting paid in Bitcoin? No. He's getting paid in Tesla shares. <laughs> So thank you for joining me, Sir Light. What do you anticipate for next week? Taxes and what else? Teal, teal, and what else? Teal on taxes. <laughs> of course you do. So with that, thank you for joining me on LA Late Nights. Uh, tomorrow is early morning to LA. I hope you've had a beautiful day. And thank you for joining us on the first, first year of LA. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the first year of L.A. Tomorrow will be year two of L.A., our final show of our first year of L.A. Late with L.A. Late Night. Tomorrow starts our second year of L.A. Late, so thank you for this incredible run. I appreciate all the love and support. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, stay informed, stay focused, and stay with L.A. Football.